Hello, I am Aurora Butterfly, and I'm going to show you guys how I play on Afghan with this particular setup. Uh, when I start out on this side, I pretty much always go up the path on the left here, um, mostly because it's safer that way, um, but on top of that, a lot of people won't go up this way, so normally it's not that crowded. Uh, when I come up over here, it's important that you approach this area pretty much like I do, except without the slipping. Um, snipers will often be on the other side there. I tried to get on that rock there, but uh, I slipped in. That guy just totally killed me. Um, but basically, if they're camping on that side over there, then they will probably be there, especially at the start. Um, or even in later in the game, if you can get up there and get on this rock here, it's a great way to pick them off and you, know, you can kind of just back down behind the rock again, which will give you cover while you reload or while they shoot at you, and then you can kind of just pop back out uh, when you are ready to shoot back at them. Um, here I was trying to lurk these guys, kind of just trying to get them really out of that spot. I wasn't doing so well at doing it, mostly because that guy with the AA-12 kept spawning there, as you saw earlier. So I gave up on trying to take that spot, and I started camping back here. Um, mostly because I wasn't having any luck rushing them, and they seemed to be all spawning there. Uh, I had kind of a difficult time here as well, but I pulled it off. Um, if you watch, I knew this guy was, I was kind of just waiting for him as they came up. And uh, they were flashing me and, you know, they were really trying to get me out. Uh, didn't have much luck. I was pretty happy with how that guy, he kind of just was staring up at me and wasn't really paying attention to his side. I don't know why he jumped off the cliff like that. Um, but I went back there basically to stay covered while I was calling in my predator. Um, so now that my teams, they've got pretty much, they're spawning up here now. Um, and as dumb as they are, for the most part, you know, uh, they had it covered, I guess, or at the very least, they're probably going to get shot before I get shot, you know, if I'm in the middle of them. Um, but I realized that they were still over here. This guy in the cave here was um, pretty much hiding from the Harrier that somebody else on our team got, and um, if he's there, there's a good chance that others will end up there, or that uh, will start spawning there. And uh, I was going to capitalize on that, and it turned off. It turned out to pay off, um, but it did take a while. Like I did not see really much action here for a while, um, mostly because I didn't want to be too reckless, only needing one, uh, one for my Harriers. Um, my team, they were doing a pretty good job of shooting guys that were around me. Uh, eventually here though, they kind of take off I guess, or I managed to get this guy right here. And uh, I dropped down behind that rock, that's what I was talking about, behind that rock right there. Dropped down and I kind of just guessed uh, like they spot that they would be spawning at. And uh, got one that way and shot that other dude from the cave. Um, here again, this is that area of the rocks I was talking about, it's really nice cover. This spot here is really nice for when they're behind the cave or in the cave and coming out of it. You can get right up against that rock wall there and stay covered. So I got my AC-130. I was going to come back here and call it in. I was hoping that he wouldn't come running out like that, but uh, he did. I just shouldn't have done that. It, it didn't really matter at that point. So I uh, covered myself back here and called it in. And I started shooting at them, you know, uh, basically behind their cave there. Uh, here I was leading those guys and I was trying to kill them on the spawn kill. I was getting spawn kills on them and basically not allowing them to take cover. Um, that was three triple kills right there. I mean, it paid off. 
keep in mind where they're likely to respawn and where they're likely to run to to take cover. You know, even though they shot it down, there was still quite a few kills, and three triple kills, basically off spawn killing and uh, keeping them out of the cave. And uh, that's, with the AC-130, that's what you want to do is try to kill them and then start spawn killing them and prevent them from really taking cover uh, here I was trying to go back up the cliff side, but uh, he killed me. I just didn't hit him at all. So when I respawned, I took cover by the plane here. It's a great spot to kill them as they're um, dropping down from the cliff or if they're sitting around up on the cliff. Really the trick here though is to move slowly around the plane, use the plane for cover. You know, just basically, um, when they're up there, I try to work the plane pretty hard. Because um, they'll, they'll drop down from the cliff or they'll stand on the cliff and, uh, you know, if you can shoot them as they're doing that. Once I respawn, I was, uh, I had to mute those guys because they were really annoying. That one guy probably got me killed when uh, I was trying to kill those other guys earlier, but, uh, little kid screaming in the mic, you know, doesn't really help. Um, but here, again, that's the rock I was telling you about, I kind of, I mean, it's really a habit of mine to approach that, by that rock there, because you can drop down and take cover on it. Up here, I was kind of just, uh, working on, you know, as they were, they were really too busy paying attention to, uh, people inside the cave and eventually one of them turned around and tried to shoot me. Uh, he was probably waiting for me to pop back up here and said I went down and then got him. And uh, Mission accomplished. Good yeah, well, there's my, but the game's over. What? Um, but yeah, that's more or less how I like to play that map. It's not, um, there's other ways that I play it too. It really depends a bit on how the other team is playing. Uh, like sometimes I will get up onto that wing in the middle. Unfortunately though in that game I never really had a chance to get up on that airplane wing and show you how I sit around on that. It's not the only way to play on that map, but um, given the way that the game played out, the way that the other team was playing, and the way that the rest of my team was playing, that's how I played, but I do hope that helps you guys out. I hope that sheds a bit of light on how I play on that map. So thank you for checking out my video, and I hope that you'll check out some of my other videos, and of course feedback and comments are always welcome.